and be able to look around and maybe it'll, see some empty seats. That'll be weird. Welcome to whatever day of Christmas this is. I don't even know how many videos I've put up anymore, but I just pulled up to a little candy store. I'm going in to get some candy that Eric really likes for his Christmas stocking. It's the second to last thing I need to get to be done with Christmas shopping. I don't come to this place super often, but every time I do come, I'm like the only person in there and it is so busy in there right now. So I was hoping I'd be out of here quick, but I might be waiting in line for a while. So we'll see, apparently everyone wants candy for Christmas. I was also hoping this would go quickly because Julie's coming over tonight and we're wrapping presents. I haven't wrapped a single Christmas present, which I would say I feel behind because Christmas is like five days away right now, except that I wasn't planning on putting any under the tree until like the night before anyway, because Bria would unwrap them. She already unwrapped presents at Eric's parents' house like twice, like tore the bow off, tore the wrapping paper a little bit. It wasn't super bad, but like, I didn't see, once she did that at their house, I was like, yeah, I can't even put any presents under the tree with her playing in that room. So that kind of helped me feel less behind since I knew I wasn't going to put them out there anyway. So I'm gonna go in and hopefully it doesn't take too long. Christmas for this Hello, year. Hello everyone. Julie used to be in my videos all the time. So if you are, if you've been watching for a few years, you know who she is. But if you're new, yeah. this is my sister, Julie. Hi. 
<laughs> and we like hardly see each other anymore. I want yeah. some doggy. You want to let everyone know why? Because I, I work a lot. Yeah, and school. Well, I didn't mean that in like a weird way. She works a lot. She's in school, mm -hmm. and her boyfriend is more important than me now. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. Oh, oh. Yikes. Something red. Anyway, we're gonna have our yearly our annual wrapping. We we didn't do that. Party party. Yeah, dinner. We're watching some great pizza. So we're watching Eloise at Christmas time. A classic. I'm hoping to play like this. Home for the holidays. Feels good to be here with you. Home for the holidays. The fire's warm. We got nothing to do. And I know that we drive each other crazy sometimes when I laugh. I'm so grateful that we're here. Home for the holidays. Full of that holiday cheer. We're done wrapping and the presents are going under the tree <laughs> very slowly. Whoa, that's a big one. Every single year I want to buy new wrapping paper and I don't. Every year I want to buy new wrapping paper and I don't because I still have so much left. These wrapping papers I bought Probably the year that we got married, which means I've had it for like seven years and I use it every year and still have not run out somehow. Maybe next year I'll run out. I still didn't run out this year. Hi guys, happy Christmas Eve, or Merry Christmas Eve. Eric and I just pulled up to our church's Christmas Eve service. The girls aren't with us, they're at my parents taking their naps, but we're actually early. And this this is the first time we've been early to an event in- Seven years? Recent memory. Uh, no, longer than that. Usually when we're sitting in this parking lot, we're like high stress because we're late, but now we're early, so I have time to pull out the camera and vlog, but this morning we just played a lot with the girls, tried to put our phones in the other room and just like spend time with the girls and we did games, crafts, and then I watched Elf with Quinn, which she didn't last the whole movie, but it was still fun to just lay there with her. She's also not really feeling her best, so she kind of just wanted to cuddle. We don't even know yet what we're doing tonight. <laughs> Um, we didn't really plan anything, so now we're just realizing we don't have any plans. Which is fine. Like, we don't have to have plans, but we're like, oh, what should we do? It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even if we're just at our house with the girls, that's fine. I do want to watch, oh, I did want to watch Polar Express with the girls. But we can do that, like, at one of our parents' house. We'll probably end up going to my parents because we have to pick up the girls anyway, so. We're going to go into the service and sit down early and be able to look around and... <laughs> Maybe that'll, see some empty seats. That'll be weird. I know. Different. We were literally early before we had Quinn. We would be early to church, but... See, that's where we're opposite. I have to be early. I feel like we were always late. Like, my family was always late. Um, probably because it was a house of girls. I'll just use that excuse, so... Done at the Christmas Eve service. It was so good. I really liked it. Now Eric is trying to finish up shopping for his dad. He's been trying to finish shopping for his dad for like 10 years now, it feels like. He keeps getting one more idea. All right, we decided to have my parents come over because the girls were over there with them anyway. And we are getting ready to make dinner. I got this Christmas pasta from Aldi the other day. It's like Santa's and little sleighs and reindeer. So cute. So I think I'm gonna make, well, I don't think. I'm going to make some pasta. It's a pasta recipe I've shared a lot of times, but I'll show it again. 
We're gonna watch the Polar Express. Um, I literally don't think my parents have ever sat down and actually watched that movie. For sure not my dad, but I really wanted Quinn to see that this year because I feel like she's old enough to maybe like that. It's so slow and quiet for the whole movie. I don't know if it'll like hold her attention very long, but at least my parents will be here and we'll be eating dinner and stuff. So it's not like nothing else will be going on. Here's the pasta that I'm making. You can screenshot this if you want to make the recipe. So the pasta completely fell apart while it was cooking. You can't even tell what shapes it's supposed to be anymore. That's probably like the last one still in shape, but hopefully it'll still taste good. Taking a nap. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I don't think I've even actually vlogged today, but I did set up the camera while we opened presents this morning as a family, which was so fun. And Eric and I both agreed that it was the first Christmas that felt like real Christmas in this house because every other year we've been here for Christmas and not in Minnesota. It just doesn't really, the day doesn't feel like Christmas as much, if that makes sense. Not that we don't enjoy it, but like, for me, it feels like Christmas to be in Minnesota, but this morning it really felt like Christmas having the girls open their presents and Quinn was actually like excited to open presents and stuff. So anyway, we've been just chilling around the house, relaxing, having a fun Christmas day, and now we're about to go to Eric's brother's house for lunch. We ended up having some plans. Hi guys, I am kind of purposely filming this clip in the dark. I could turn some lights on, but I just put Bria down and Eric's putting Quinn down. It's like past 8.30, but I'm not gonna turn any on because my eyes are so swollen and puffy and I'm losing my voice and I am sick again. I don't wanna sit here and complain about it in my Christmas vlog, but I'm pretty frustrated on the inside because I'm not even kidding when I say this. 
I have never been sick so many times in a row with different things in my life. I used to not ever get sick. I'm just very done with winter already and it just started like five days ago. Actually, it's the 29th, so eight days ago, I think, but on to the point of this clip. I hope you enjoyed my 12 days of Christmas this year. I don't even know how many videos I ended up getting up, probably around eight or nine, which I think I did eight last year, so. Sorry, this probably keeps going out of focus, but that's what happens when you film in the dark. I did want to mention that for anyone that doesn't already follow me on Instagram, I posted a lot more on my stories in December. I saved everything to a highlight. It is a Christmas tree and says 2022, I think. This is going out of focus so bad, but I'm pretty sure you don't have to have Instagram to see the highlights. So if you wanted to see them and see the things that I posted in December, I'll put a link in my description. You should just be able to click on the link and go to my Instagram and that highlight. As of now, I'm gonna try to keep posting throughout January more too. One of my many reasons that I didn't post on there very much before was just that I felt like I was gonna be posting all the same things I already put in vlogs, but I actually did end up posting a good variety, it seemed like. So we'll see if I can keep up with that, but I hope every one of you had the merriest Christmas. Let me know in the comments what you did and how you spent your Christmas Eve and your Christmas and I'll see you in a few days with my first video of 2023.